What's up, guys? It is almost that time of year again. I'm here with Snoopy and my multiple Santa hats getting ready for the Christmas season. But the one thing that can ruin a Christmas season is getting to December 26th and realizing you're out of money. So today we are talking about 10 ways that you can save money and Snoopy can save money through the Christmas season. Hope you're ready. No, I am. Let's go. All right, guys, I am excited to share with you 10 ways that you can save money this Christmas. But just in case this is your first time here, my name is Jake. The purpose of this channel is to help Christians achieve financial freedom so they can more effectively fulfill the mission to which God has called them. And one very surefire way to not achieve financial freedom is to blow all your money, especially on seasons like Christmas. So we're going to start with number 10 and work all the way down to the number one tip to save money this Christmas. And I promise you, if you implement these 10 things, you will save money this Christmas. Number 10, do side hustles for a little bit of extra cash. Now I know technically it's not saving, but if you can make a little more money this Christmas season, it'll give you a little more wiggle room since you're spending more than you typically are in other months. Maybe you're saying, Jake, what am I going to do? How can I earn some extra money? Well, there are a lot of options. You can go get a part-time job somewhere that's just open for the Christmas season. You can go onto my YouTube channel. There are a lot of different ways that you can make money online. There's one opportunity to make $30 an hour testing websites for people. There's another one where you can literally sign up through a referral link and get $50 within a week into your bank account. There are a lot of cool opportunities online. Another one is you could even go to something like Craigslist free and for sale page, find the free stuff, get it, and then flip it on Facebook Marketplace. There are a lot of ways to bring in a little bit of extra money that would really, really help you this Christmas. And that brings us to number nine. Probably going to have to put on my ball humbug hat for this one. I know you're not going to like it, but number nine is regifting. All right. Now I know that regifting gets a terrible rap, but the reality is that you probably have stuff that's unopened that you're never going to use, but you know, people who would. Now I'm not saying go out and give them trash, give them garbage, give them stuff they wouldn't want, but make a list of people that you're going to give gifts to anyways and see if there are opportunities to re-gift some things that you already have. Maybe you even have books in your house that are in perfect condition that you're never gonna read, and you have friends who would love them. Why not give that gift? It's a great gift. Maybe you have unopened toys in your house or unopened kitchen supplies or unopened whatever. Maybe you think about re-gifting a few things this Christmas. All right, quick timeout. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, please do me a favor and hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification for this video. That'll be a massive blessing for me. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but for us as content creators, it really, really is. So please do me that small blessing of hitting the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification. Please and thank you. All right, let's get back to it. Number eight, wrap gifts creatively. Now, I don't know if your house is like mine, whether it's on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning, we tend to have wrapping paper all over our floor. It's a whole family activity just to get all the wrapping paper up. Now the wrapping paper might've looked good on the presents, but it didn't last very long. So if instead of wrapping paper, what if you got some good looking Christmas bags that you could reuse over the years? In fact, maybe even put multiple gifts into that one bag so you don't have to buy as many bags. This will not only save you money this year, but it will continue to save you money in years to come because you can reuse those bags. Number seven, instead of going out and buying a ton of gifts, why don't you make some presents this year? Be creative, be intentional, be very, very personal. And the truth is it'll probably mean more to whoever you're giving the gift to anyways. And as a side perk, it'll save you a little bit of money. Number six is to use cash back apps. Now I made a full video on a handful of different apps that you can use to save money. And I'll put that link up in the top right corner of this video and you can go watch the whole thing. But if you use things like Ebates and Dosh, these purchases that you're making anyways, you can actually get cash back on. Sometimes it's 2%, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's even 8% on this stuff that you're buying anyways. Why not get the cash back from it? So head up to that video if you want to see some good apps that you can use to get cash back over the Christmas season. And number five, not only should you use cash back apps, you should also be looking for discount codes. Now these are all over the place. You can find physical ones, but nowadays why would you look for physical ones when they are everywhere online? 
Personally, my favorite discount site is retailmenot.com or you can use the Retail Me Not app. You can also look at secretprices.com or even freeshipping.org or just Google where to get great deals or great discounts over the Christmas season. And that brings us to number four. Use some of your old gift cards and also buy discounted gift cards. So you'll see that I pulled up my screen here because I want to show you how you can do that. If you go to giftcards.com, I'm going to show you where you can get discounted gift cards. First thing I want to point out is right up here, you'll notice this is, it used to be called Ebates, now it's called Rakuten or however you pronounce that. This is one place where you can get cash back deals. So you could simply activate cash back right here or underneath it, I did a video on Acorns, a way to start investing for beginners. So you could get more money invested uh, by using Acorns on this site. So you could use, I don't know if you could use both, but you could definitely use one of those two deals here. So what you're going to do is come to giftcards.com, go to discount and buy discounted gift cards. And you're going to see these are pretty normal places. Bass Pro Shop, American Eagle, uh, Chili's, Costco, uh, Hollister, P.F. Chang's, Nike gift card. Like these are great places to get gift cards. And you'll see right under, this means uh, be an electronic copy of that card. You can save 11.5% or a physical copy of the card and you can save 11.5%. So some of them you'll see they're only uh, electronic copies and some you can get actual physical cards. So let me pop into one just to show you. Let's see which one we're going to do. Uh, here, we'll just go to American Eagle. Why not? So, you're going to see you can buy a $125 card and only pay $103.75. Save that 17%. Now, there you go. If you scroll down far enough, you will see the physical copies are down here. And the electronic copies are up here. Now, you're asking, why would anyone sell their card for less. How am I able to buy a $125 card for $103? Well, it's simply because in the same way that you have gift cards you haven't used, these people have gift cards. Maybe they don't have an American Eagle close to them. Maybe they don't like American Eagle and they just want to get rid of it. And they are able to get rid of it if they offer it at this discount. And to them, $103.75 of something they can use is far better than $125 that they can't use. So uh, use the gift cards that you already have and haven't finished using yet, or come buy discounted gift cards. That brings us to number three, cut down on some expenses that you would typically have in other months. Maybe don't go out to eat as much as you normally would. Uh, maybe don't buy things for yourself or do as many fun, expensive activities as you would in other months. Since we know during the Christmas season we are going to have so many more expenses, let's find areas where we can cut down. Number two, and this is one I am incredibly passionate about, what if we cut down on the amount of gifts we give and we focus more on the experiences? If you're a Christian, you know the purpose of Christmas isn't about the gifts. First and foremost, it's an act of worship about Christ being born. Second, it's about time with family. And then third, okay, we can give some gifts as well. But what if we actually put gifts in third place and we focused on the family and we focused on Christ and the church? We wouldn't be spending nearly as much money. What if this Christmas you spent more time doing stuff with your family, going to see Christmas lights, maybe creating like 12 days where y'all just do cool stuff together. Be creative, be unique. Find ways to spend more time with your family, more time with your friends, and cut down on the secondary, the, the, even the tertiary, being the gifts. And that brings us to number one. Number one is by far the most important. It is the difference between having a very Merry Christmas and being broke by the end of Christmas. Number one, have a budget. Guys, this is so important. Make a plan, have a budget, be ready going into the season. You should know the total amount of, amount of money that you plan to spend this Christmas. You should have a list of everyone who you want to get gifts for and then a dollar amount associated with each of those individuals. This is such a big deal because your spending could get absolutely out of control if you don't have a plan. If your money isn't already assigned before you go to Walmart, before you go to this store or that store, or before you go to Amazon.com, 
don't allow just some random thing to be seen and catch your eye and you make random purchases that you weren't preparing for. Have a budget, have a plan, and it will save you on December 26th. You can go places like everydollar.com. Now, everydollar.com is set up to be a budget software for the, for the entire year, but you can do one specifically for December. You can just go to Google and type in budgeting template. You can go to Excel and get a template for a budget. You can get a piece of, piece of paper and a pen and just write down your budget. Every single expense, every party expense, every person you're buying gifts for, everything. Get it on paper. Decide how much money you're going to spend and you will be thankful come December 26th. All right. Well, that's it. That is 10 ways that you can save money this Christmas. Me and Snoopy are so thankful you decided to watch this video and we are going to be even more thankful when you hit the like, the subscribe and the bell notification, please. And thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you have a great holiday season. As you decide which awesome video you will watch next, allow me to serenade you in song. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know the rest of the words, but I hope you hit the like. <laughs>